look at me, I'm so super cute. I am gorgeous, look at me. Yes, exquisite, look at me. Into my eyes, you cannot resist my reptilian brain. For I am a pectinata with a superb brain. I'm so smart, I'm actually being clicker trained. You're so cute, I wish I had two hands so I could Pet your chin, he's so responsive. Hi, buddy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Slow growing, but wow. Spiny tail iguana. Didn't look like this when you're a little. This is our little pet, so it's good for shows. And Nina is working on clicker training to prove how smart he is. All right, say goodbye. Another box of all pythons. So let's do, I guess I really like Odium stuff. So basically, this is Finji Woma, Mojave, Enchi, Odium, Pinstripe. And what you can do with this is just ridiculous. So this thing is, this is not, I mean the genetics of this is, is great, but this is not literally the direction I want to go, but it's an important ingredient. It's because this animal makes, will make a fantastic female. Here, this is uh, with more genes, when we ramp up that combination, we add uh, pastel pastel to it, or super pastel, we get something like this. And this is, this is still nice, this is really, I mean, it's really hard to define. This is Malum. So this is basically, get your head there, super, anchi, lesser, ping, Malum, orange dream. really pretty patternless snake or near patternless you get a little bit of pattern on the neck but I've got the banana swimming around with my banana he's so excited kind of cute let's go see Dog with the bone. Oh, lights just went out. It's time to start munching. Jeremy is a fly river turtle. He's one of my babies. Is he cute or what? Believe it or not, it's not a sea turtle. This is a freshwater turtle from Papua New Guinea. Num, 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 num. It's a big deal, so you don't push them kind of going onto you. You push into the chest, and then um, the animal will take its first, you know, first movement towards you and stuff like that. That's a really good. That's a thread. That's a positive thread, and you want to continue with that. Long tongue flicks are really good. So he'll do a little bit of flinching, and as time as he gets to know you, he'll do less flinching, a lot of tongue flicks, a lot of long tongue flicks. This guy's being responsive and stuff. And you just, just little small episodes. But the trick is, when you interact with them, don't interact with them to the point where all of a sudden he flips out. Because then when you put him back in the cage, it actually ends up being a bad episode, even though you had five minutes of good time. Yeah, so a little good. short episodes, uh, put one of your shirts in the cage, they'll smell you, and get used to you. They, they, they know your voice, they know what you look like, they know what you smell like, and all that kind of stuff like that, because they're so smart. And their a level of awareness is so acute, like within seconds. They already know who it is, they know whatever, and get to know you. But this is this is good. This one's behaving really, really well. Oh look, you petting the snapping turtle's chin. How unusual. But they're called snapping turtles. It's gonna why bite my it, finger off. Why isn't it mauling you? I hate you. She's so cute. 
snapping turtles can actually be really smart and uh, you can make good friends with them. Right guys? She's like that like that. She's at the spa. Just, just massage. Daily massage. Yeah. So this is a snapping turtle and snapping turtles don't want to hurt you. They're just terrified of you. So now we're doing Super Angie. Odium, orange drain, and some yellow belly. So we're getting the odium and this orange drain just dissolves out the pattern. So you get this more pigment on the head, but as we start going down the body, we get more of a dissolve to the point where, uh, look at the front neck area, you can see more melanin. But as we go back down here, we start getting something that starts looking like a toffino, coral glow, yanchi. So we minimize the pattern. And it's gotta go back to that head. We're gonna take this, we're adding spider into this one. So this would be super enchi, spider, odium, orange dream. Um, probably, uh, I forgot to mention lucifers in some of these. At this point, it's not even really mattering because this is just in-house stock. We're definitely gonna get to the point where like, there's no explanation genetically what's going on, exactly what are the genes. We're really gonna start, you know, the look of the animal, and how fantastic it is. But once again, we're gonna look at this, the dissolve, the serpent. So back to this, so we get the dark pattern and then we get the dissolve. A little bit further down the body. I'm really, really liking that. Okay, so this is Mojave, Enchi, Odium, Lucifer. And this one's really blown up. It's, it's loose, dude. It's gone, there's another snake. So what were you doing, just daydreaming when I was doing this? <laughs> you failed. Uh, why does the snake look like this? I really can't tell you. But, it's just really cool. All right. The room of horrors. The room of horrors? Okay. Yes, the whole room board <laughs> is well our new education room. So, see how it's quiet? Yeah. I put soundproofing up. I did the windows. That's double pane that I built. So if somebody wanted to like go to a workshop, let's say I talk about, I basically educate people about like how to keep, let's say, pythons and boas, and go over, we can go through the setup, we can do everything like that. They have, they're gonna pay whatever the price is, and they come here, so it's more like a one-on-one -on -one thing. So there could be maybe 10 people, 20 people, whatever, in my class. I could also do, I have to learn to talk It's all right, man, you're getting there. So I have, to, I have to learn to talk into the camera, but we could do like a class on, let's say, lizard socialization, and basically take what weirdness I have in my brain, see if I can get it out there so somebody else could understand their animal better. I could do snake, socialization, so like pythons, boas, whatever, whatever the snake is. And another thing, maybe how about just a, a bad reptile, like something that like somebody says it's mean, it's this, it's that. So basically I could deal with their problem animal and then show them how to get the best out of it. You mean like, what, like the dog whisperer? Like that uh, reptile whisperer. Oh my God. Come on, you, do, know, I, you know I do it, I, do I do you it think all the time. Dude, that's a great idea, you should do that. But what are these for? Okay, so we're gonna do, this will just have like eight, Cages where we can just do like an Amazon base and maybe some lichianas. Stand next to it. Let me get a reference on how big that is. Dude, these are absolutely massive. Holy, yeah, are. Kevin is very tall, by the way. He's like 6'2. Yeah, so 
So anyways, so this will be, so we can at least have eight nice cages here. We're going to do some terrariums and stuff like that. Because it's going to have a rug in here. You see the nice, beautiful benches. It's, yep. you know, dirty right now with sawdust. But what's really cool about this, and which actually excites me, I have a lot of talented people. I have a lot of talented employees here, and they have very particular uh, talents. Let's say somebody's really good at terrariums, how to set up a terrarium, how to you know keep arachnids and all different stuff like that. So what it basically allows us to do is to spotlight one of my employees. They can do a workshop once again with the local people that are interested in that. They can sign up for the class. They come in here and we'll do a workshop in here and it'll be hands on and I'll learn more specific things. Then you could go into the shop and actually just talk to a general employee. You're going to learn more and that's, that's important. And then we can also do uh, birthday parties in here. Yep. And uh, we could also do your live of, streams. Live streams or podcasty kind of whatever. I think a podcast would be good because a lot of people could listen to Kevin's uh, without having to look at him. He's like, he doesn't have to be visual all the time. We can just listen Groaning. to him. Yeah. Well, you've been forcing me to get in front of the camera now. We love it. Before, I was always like doing the animals. I just pick up an animal and I just start yammering about it.